I watched uh, something really interesting uh, the other day. I watched AOC, uh, Cong- Congresswoman AOC, question a member of the FBI. And the questions were about why white supremacists weren't classified as domestic terrorists. And this FBI uh, official fumfered around and could not quite land on an answer. Uh, and that is because in America, white supremacists are not criminalized. They're canonized. Mm. In America, you could walk into a church and slaughter nine people and not be taken whisk away uh, to jail. You can go to Burger King. Because apparently when you win the Super Bowl, you go to Disneyland. When you murder nine people at a church in South Carolina, you go to Burger King. In America, they do not charge white supremacists with direct domestic, domestic terrorism. They elect them. They make them policemen. They make them judges. Um, they give them their own flag. They give them their own holidays. They give uh, them the uh, statues in the park. Um, they even put them on our money. In America, uh, white supremacists are not given grief. They're given a gavel. They're given power over people. Because in, white, in America, white supremacists are the reason why a lot of people have a leg up. In America, white supremacists are not called terrorists. White supremacists are not called monsters. White, su- white supremacists are not called pariahs. In America, white supremacists are called president. They're leaders. And they're that way because that they're so ingrained in America. It's almost like there are times um, when someone uh, has a wound, an injury, say a bullet wound. And taking that bullet out would do more harm than, uh, than, than leaving it there. That is American white supremacy. To, to, to remove white supremacy from American life would kill the host. It is so ingrained in us. It's in our holidays. It's in our streets. It's in our libraries. It's, it's the schools. Our ch- Imagine this. Our children, black and brown children, go to schools named after people who hate them. We sing songs written by white supremacists before black people play games. We play the, the national anthem right now was a poem by Francis Scott Key. And in the third stanza, he talked about killing black people. It is so ingrained in America that to remove it would kill the host. It is a part of us. It is who we are. Much like a bullet, if you were shot, would be would remain in your body until the day you left. Racism is that way, too. And I'm not saying that just because you're white, you are racist. That is not true. But it has imbued its way in our psyche, in our way of life, in our holidays. Imagine all the things you would have to change if you want to take racism away, white supremacy away. Imagine everything you'd have to do. The holidays, we give them statues. We, we write stories about them. We, they, they, to, to, to them, they are not harbingers of doom. They are heroes.